Hello, Internetikins. Bowen339 here with part 13 of State Decay Breakdown. You'll see level 3. We're back on top with Robert Spangler. And I don't have a lot of time to talk because we have lost a lot of valuable time. And I'll tell you why in a moment. But we're running out to Spencer's Mill. And the zombies are chasing us. Already feeling the heat of level 3. So let me explain why we're in such a hurry. Uh, a common practice that I do, and a lot of other people do, is they backlog a lot of videos. So they'll sit down, you know, on a nice afternoon and just record like six episodes, you know? So that they have time to do other things and they don't have to worry about meeting a deadline or anything. And I did that for Stay Decay. I do that quite regularly. The problem is... Uh, you can't do that for State of Decay, because the game keeps going, as I explained 11 episodes ago. So, you end up two weeks later having not played the game, and now your resources are at, uh, are at the minimums. As you can see, uh, I have one food, ten medicine, I guess that's good, nobody got sick while I was away. One ammo, no construction materials, and no fuel. So we have got a lot of stuff to do in this episode, Come on. I've like the way. track down this feral zombie yeah, let's do it. and find a lot of resources. Yeah, all right. That's mighty fine. Okay, I'll be right there, Sam. We picked up Sam in the last episode, as you will recall. And we're going to go find this feral. Robert Spangler, as you saw, amazing at searching. I uh, used the ninja perk for his... There we are. Boom. You can see he's just amazing at everything he does. That feral hunt lasted less than a minute. Which is good, because now we're on to this clearing out this zombie infestation. And I'm not sure who it'll be, whether it be part of our community or somebody else but there was two infestations when I checked the map and we're just gonna go ahead and clear up both of them because we're Robert and we're awesome up oh, got a horde coming in that might prove cumbersome later ah, there you yes we new people Patrick okay. Nixon I'll follow your lead. that Brendan Nixon's uh, brother uh, long lost brother in. looks a bit like him he might, uh, he might have a grudge against me, seeing as I left his, his relation, uh, back in the first level. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that, and we'll be able to set aside our differences for the greater good. It's on now. Yeah, that that horde's gonna be coming our way very soon. Ah, uh, this is bad. But at least I got two other people here, to help me out. All right, we're just gonna look for. There's one. Oh, there is a lot of zombies in there. That guy is... Okay. A little glitch there. And here they come through the... Uh, they're coming out of the woodworks now. Okay. Come on. Brian Garland. Uh, Richard Nixon. What was his name again? Richard Nixon? Was it Nick? Uh, I, I can't even remember. Battle of the post office, though. I don't know why he could attack me, but I couldn't attack him. Alright, let's get in there. Let's do some cleanup. Watcha! Oh, come on, that hit him. Still pretty early, so it's there's the horde. Alright. Let's close the door. I'm tired. This is not good. Zombies, it's illegal to disrupt the mail. Got him. Okay. Okay. We got this. We got this. Good. I'm kind of whiffing here a bit. Come on. No! Okay. Sweet. Oh, yeah. See. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, leave me here with him. Oh, come on. Do something. Come on. Robert. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming back for me. Who are you? Are you Brian Garland? I don't care. Let's search up a bit. Okay. Don't need some small backpacks. Pretty clear on that. Post office already raided. 
and take out this waitress. And now, reload. On to Ello. On to the second infestation, which is convenient because it's the swine and bovine, meaning there'll probably be food resources there, and I need food resources bad. I was lucky, very lucky, that none of my people starved while I was away for two weeks. And just whip there. But I need to, uh, I need to come back. And reload. I'm not sure why I didn't do that in the first place. Hello. Okay. Another screamer over there. Not a problem. Just shoot him. Alright, who we got in here? Okay. Oh, I'm doing pretty poorly. I'm out of practice as Robert. He may be... Oh, come on. See, I'm, I'm out of practice. He's just... Gotta get back into the groove with things. And I just closed the door, not sure why. Let's get all these guys. Clear this baby out. Get some food. Nope! Okay. Forget the controls a bit. Haven't done my suplex move. My pro wrestling. This is... Okay. A little, a little hesitant there. Gotta wait for my stamina to get back. Come on! Did he die? No, of course he didn't die. Get around there. Okay. Still a couple more coming in. Only got three bullets left. I can make it work. I can make it work. Where are they? Oh, they're probably in the back room. That's right. Oh. This area is secure. All right, let's find some food. All right, nothing there. Have you looked at the streets lately? It's like every Kitchen day timer. Zombie pride day. And just what I need a is a horde event. Well, we've got okay, a horde well, sighting. let's just Are power through this. Relax. We got this one. There would better be food in this one. Bing. Okay, good. Two foods. Okay, I'll run this home. We'll be ready. Woohoo! Let's run back home. Probably should have picked up that car. Three bullets. I'll just take the long way around. I'm feeling pretty good about this, though. Uh, level 3 is obviously going to be a lot harder than level 2, but I screwed around in level 2 a bit, you know? I really wasn't worried about getting fuel or construction materials to fix the RV. I was really just running around causing trouble. And we got a horde incoming, as Lily said. I'll be able to get past it on the way to the house, but I'm definitely going to have to take care of it once I leave. So let's just get this done as soon as possible. You'll see some nice nature on the left there through all these weeds. There we go. And he's really tired. And there's a fear event. What's this little... Yeah, I, I know there's a horde coming my way. I saw it on my way in. God. No, you won't. Every time. Alright, do I deal with the horde, or do I talk I to this person breathe. about them being a scaredy cat? I'm going to talk to them about being a scaredy Of course, it's Rosa. Go. It's always Rosa anything. causing the trouble. Oh, you know. Let's just get this over with. What's up? Let's go for a Come walk. Come on, you and me are going to go out there and kick some ass. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. We are going to deal with this horde along the way. Two birds, one stone. Okay, well, there's two hordes. So, well, two of us. I forgot to pick up ammo, so this Some might be difficult. There, huh? But Hell, I have confidence honest. in the Some Horde Slayer. Having a little heart-to-heart -heart there. Okay, how are we going to deal with this, Rosa? Probably should have picked up the car, too. Now, let's get the first Horde. Come on, come on, come back, come back, Rosa! Come on! I don't need the flashlight. I'm out of ammo. Yep, I know. Get off of her! Come on! We got this? Whew. Nice. Nice job, Rosa. Couldn't have done it without you. Now on to this next one. Hey, you guys! Boosh! 
Ha! Boosh! Ha! Boosh! Boom. Nice job, Rosa. This is why we keep you around. I don't see why you're so scared all the time. You're an amazing fighter. Let's just get over here. Deal with this. Okay. Now we're going to kick some zombie ass the old-fashioned way. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, yeah. Some people are home. Oh, did she hit me? What happened there? Uh, why can I not hit? My camera's out of the... Uh, this is a bad camera angle. Get back inside. Get off of her! Boosh! The judge. Things aren't as bad as they seem. Well, I'm pretty tired and we're pretty hurt. But other than that, let's do this. These guys are trying to get into us. Get into us. That's kind of gross. Let's just search around the house. We'll ignore that blunder in my speech. I see, I notice a lot of time I try and say stuff. Hey, a fridge. This will probably have food in it. Okay, I was hoping for a little more than a snack and a cup of coffee, but I'll be fine. You'll notice I often uh, Sit tight. mix up my speech a bit when home. I talk. We'll be it's back. because uh, my mind's working so fast, I want to say one thing. And then I'm like, no, I'll say another thing. And I just end up saying half of both things. So, I've, uh, I have noticed I noticed it in some of the other episodes. I apologize. Unless you think it's funny, then I don't apologize. You're welcome for that. Okay, not a lot in this house. But that's to be expected, the higher levels you go. Let's just get home. What am I got? I got medicine. Not, uh, not food. Something I don't need, seeing as nobody is sick. But that's okay. Look. We're all scared. We're just going to give a little more heart to heart happened, to Rosa. But we've got to have each other's backs. Together we can survive this shit on our own. We're done for. That was a that was a beautiful speech there, Robert. Good. Hey yo. All I wanted to say. Yeah. <sighs> you did. Tired. You get tired giving out those epic speeches. How's it going? It's a fact. It's up. Coming in hot. No, what? There's nothing here. We're fine. Uh, belay that message. Alright, let's Good. drop off this medicine. There you go. And drop off Don't all this other crap. Alright. Thanks for watching, Interneticans. This has been Bone339 and Robert Spangler with Double Buff Productions. Be sure to check out our other videos. I just got tired, so we're not really not playing Robert next episode. That's okay. You got a little taste of him after a, what was it been, like six episode hiatus? It's enough. But we're going to be a lot more uh, lot more considerate of the other guys in the future episodes. So, like I said, watch the other videos. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.